Welcome to the channel. My name is Matias. Today we're going to talk about Krakoa era, New Mutants. And the first story arc is actually written by Jonathan Hickman. It's pretty weird because it's a setup for a story that's going to have its payoff in the X-Men series that he was writing. But these two issues do have their own legs. They're a fun read. Jonathan Hickman has always had a soft spot for Sunspot and Cannonball. Also, something pretty interesting that we get here is... This New Mutants lineup has two members from Generation X, part of the team, Mondo and Chamber. And in the case of Mondo, he's going to have some issues with Krakoa because he's going to be the interface sometimes of Krakoa with Cypher. But he's not really down with his body being taken over by Krakoa. It sort of scares the crap out of him. So the story that we're going to get is that the New Mutants' first mission is to take a Krakoan gate all the way to Shi'ar space. The basic idea is actually to establish a back door so Cannonball can come to Krakoa anytime he wants. So Sunspot puts together pretty much a super classic New Mutants team with the two new members. And they actually hitch a ride with the Star Jammers. And this part of the story is priceless because the thing is the New Mutants and the Star Jammers really do not get along. So this story is a little bit more lighthearted than normal for Jonathan Hickman. Here we have the focus on each member of the Star Jammers and why they start to really hate the New Mutants. Corsair, the leader of the Star Jammers, just can't wait to get these kids off his ship. But before he does, the Star Jammers have to do this heist on the CR space station. Also, obviously, the Star Jammers do not tell the New Mutants what they're about to do. They just tell him, look, we have some business on the space station. We do it. We're out of here. You guys have to stay here. But the thing is, the new mutants are just sick and tired of being on the Star Jammer ship. They want to get out, stretch their legs. So what happens is Magic teleports them out and they immediately realize that this is one of the Star Jammers heists. And just to screw over the Star Jammers, they steal what they're going for. They pull a switcheroo and they give the Star Jammers a bogus object. It's not what they were looking for. While all this is going down, Sunspot is totally oblivious to what's going down. He actually stayed back on the ship. No one had told him that they were going to leave the ship in the first place. So what happens is the new mutants get captured. Sunspot gets kicked off the Star Jammer ship and also gets captured. So now the new mutants are in Shi'ar custody and they go through this bogus trial. And they're actually saved by Cannonball's wife, Smasher, who is part of the Imperial Guard. She pulls rank and gets the case tossed. So we get up to date with Cannonball, who is living a fantastic life on the CR throne world. Him and his wife have a daughter. He has a kid and he has this fantastic relationship with Izzy. And it's cool to see this dynamic because Sunspot is happy for his friend, but at the same time, there's a little bit of friction. So what we discover as the story progresses is that there's a caveat into getting that trial tossed. Basically, the New Mutants are going to go on this Black Ops mission to rescue Deathbird. So, I'm going to leave this video here. I hope you guys liked it. See you guys next time. Bye.